Let's look at how Leeds thrashed Chelsea 3-0 and how Jesse Marsh, in my opinion, got the better of Thomas Tuchel. Now, this is how the team's lined up. Leeds in a 4-2-3-1, Chelsea in a 3-5-2. This is the three here with uh, Mount and Jorginho and Gallagher, and there we go. Uh, with Sterling and Havertz up front. Now, a few problems with this Chelsea setup. So, one of the things is that Loftus Cheek's playing at right wing back. The idea is not that he is an out and out wing back, it's that in defensive situations, Reese James is a centre back. And when they go forward, it turns into a back four. So, it's two systems in one. You've got James, then becomes a right back. Loftus Cheek was in the midfield. And then you should, in theory, gain midfield superiority with a box midfield four against maybe Leeds' three of Aronson, Adams, and, and, uh, and Rocket there. But that's not what played out whatsoever. Basically, Chelsea too slow in build-up. Loftus-Cheek couldn't get past the high press of Leeds because what this win from Leeds uh, was a result of is all Jesse Marsh's principles working exactly as they're supposed to. So Jesse Marsh likes to play vertical football, really fast from back to front, always going forward, really intense, lots of energy, lots of running, loads of running. They ran at one point in the game, uh, Sky Sports of the Stats said they ran 10k more collectively than Chelsea. That was late in the game as well. That's a huge amount. But they also, in addition to having lots of energy and a, a vertical football, they press high. And this is why you see Harrison, Aronson, James all buzzing around, knowing exactly what to do, curving their runs to force the play where they want. They're dictating play. If Leeds were on fire, Chelsea were very much um, not. They just looked a bit short of a spark. Uh, even from throw-ins, their players not moving to position to get it. And you saw it uh, from the goal that Leeds score, first of all, that all these principles, like pushing high up the pitch, being really vertical and aggressive, uh, leads to uh, the first goal that Leeds score. I can show you exactly what I mean. So the first goal is a mistake by Edouard Mendy. And what happens is that um, there's a turnover in play here. I think Harrison or someone puts the ball in the middle. Gallagher reads it, intercepts, there's a turnover. But as soon as that happens, Leeds immediately just go straight into him. They just hound him so that the only th option he's got safely in that split second decision he's got is to go back to the goalkeeper. In this situation now, because Aronson's charging up and Rodrigo's charging up to block the passes, what these players here, James and Koulibaly, because they're more central at this actually in the situation, these guys should now instantly sprint wide to give a clear, easy passing option so Mendy's got an easy pass. Chuko wants him to keep possession. Mendy knows he's not really allowed to kick the ball long. Kick it long, you lose the ball, Leeds go straight back through you. So that's the whole point of that. Mendy, when Arsenal's running towards him, is waiting for this to happen. But Silva, James, Koulibaly, Kukurea, they all stand completely still and the angle never comes. So by the time Aronson gets to him, Mendy's waited too long, then he tries to dribble past him, that is the mistake, and that's how Leeds score. And I can show you exactly how it looks, because then you can really see what I'm talking about. So here we go, right, this is it. This is Gallagher intercepting. I think it's Dan James who makes the pass. As soon as the ball's turned over, these guys sprint round, come round to try and take him out of the game. Gallagher, only option, you can see there's no other players in a position to be able to receive it. If he goes short, they're gonna get pressed, too dangerous, has to go back to the goalkeeper. It's exactly what happens. Here's the, here's the mad press. Two players go in for him straight away. They're going to follow it up. It's the only safe option. It's the right choice from Gallagher to go back here. Now the ball goes all the way back to Mendy, who's waiting. Look, here they are, the centre-backs. He should be going here. He's waiting for maybe a chip pass. If this ball is chipped over the top because of the running player, uh, there's a good chance Leeds will fly in, win that turnover, and again, it's the same problem. So you, you don't want to give away possession in that sort of area. But Kukurea doesn't move. Koulibaly doesn't move. Silva stays there, he's probably the one that's fine. But Reese James should be going here to give the option. And he's waiting for it. He's waiting, he waits, he waits, he waits, and it's too late. Aronson comes in, looks like he's going to clear it. He doesn't. I think they all think he's going to clear it, but he's not. And then that is when he makes this mistake of trying to dribble past him, loses the ball, and leads score. Now, another thing that Leeds have been doing under Jesse Marsh, which has worked very well here, is focusing on marginal gain. So when you don't have the best team, I mean, Chelsea's players, you know, a lot more famous, therefore you think they're better. But what Leeds are trying to do here is uh, gain any advantage they can, and one of the things is in set pieces. Now, in the past, uh, Jesse Marsh has said that um, he thinks about 30% of goals in MLS come from set pieces. He's put Mark Jackson, one of the backroom staff, to be uh, in charge of set piece routines, and you can see them. So what they do every set piece is they have Harrison, uh, and I think it's mostly Aronson go out. One's a left footer, one's a right. So you get an in-swinger and an out-swinger and they discuss what they're going to do each single time. The rest of the players know what's going to happen to do with the signal that they use, whether it's one arm up or two. They, they know it's going to be in-swinger or out-swinger. And they focus on how to get the most of mostly Rodrigo, whose movement in the box is um, absolutely brilliant. Also, because they'll be analysing things, they'll have looked at Chelsea and know that they're not very good at defending set pieces this season. They've really struggled with it. Whereas Leeds have created a lot of chances. They're one of the highest in the, in the league at the moment. Now this is the free kick they score from. And you can see 
Uh, Rodrigo's going to score. He's number 19 here, right? So he is looking for this gap between Conor Gallagher and Rhys James because they know that Chelsea are lining up in this sort of space here. The Leeds have stacked their biggest headers. You've got Llorente and uh, Koch at the back here, right? That's the big, the big lads. So Chelsea accordingly has their big lads here as well. So the, the threat is going to be the near post where no one's stationed. They're leaving space open to attack it at the right time. If you arrive at the right time, you're going to have a, you're going to have a good time. Ball curls as an outswinger this time. Rodrigo times his run, so with the time he's there between the two centre backs, or well, a full back and a, and a centre back, actually Conor Gallagher's a midfielder, so what am I talking about? But you know what I mean, he's going into the space there, beautiful header, it's perfect execution of something that they've deliberately focused on and took an advantage of. That's what they've done here with that goal. It's a marginal gain, that puts them 2-0 up, suddenly Chelsea are in trouble, and they've got to change the way they're playing to try and get into it, because the thing they were struggling with was to get out from the back in the first place. Uh, Leeds dominated for large portions of the first half, uh, just with all that intensity and running. The touch maps for players like Harrison, Aronson, James are crazy. They're just all over everywhere. Even Rodrigo is getting touches back and like right back and stuff. So the changes that Tuchel made to try and change this game up, because what you had, the real problem was that Havertz wasn't getting in behind, Sterling wasn't getting in behind. The only player who really did later in the game was Rhys James on this right side, he was caught offside a few times. But the box midfield didn't work, leads were too intense, too compact, getting into them. So what happens? Silva goes to right centre back, Koulibaly goes here. Rather than having a transitional three to four shape, they just go to a straight four. Loftus Cheek goes in the midfield. And so they want to maintain the same sort of pressing shape, which is the, the front two, Havertz and Sterling, split strikers. Mason Mount behind it. Well, he's more to the left now. Loftus Cheek goes in as a 10. Then you've got Conor Gallagher playing this kind of weird hybrid sort of a midfielder, sort of a, a wide forward role. He looked a bit off it today and Chelsea generally were just a little bit lax and slow. But this gives them more attacking options and you get James on the, on the right here as well, you get Kukurea pushing here. But if you do this, obviously what you then leave is lots of space in behind. And what Leeds are really good at doing is getting from attacking shape to defensive shape really quickly. Their transition uh, is really good, especially in this game. So what you'd have is even if there's a turnover somewhere high and Chelsea attack and they have a, at one point they had a 2v2, I think it was Sterling and Havertz were 2v2 with someone. Uh, Leeds players are so quick to get back, putting so much effort that by the time Chelsea are trying to then create a chance in the edge of the box, everyone's back in the box to try and block it off. They're really, really, really good at this, the transitions. That's something that uh, Jesse Marsh wants to have on his team. So that was the thinking from Shuko. He wanted to try and have more attacking players, try and get more out of the game because they were losing 2-0. He can't do that as Chelsea, that's bad. Leeds uh, stuck with what they knew, really aggressive, kept the energy up throughout the game, didn't concede any goals this time, unlike against Southampton. But what you had is leaving the space in behind by pushing players forward. So particularly either side like Jorginho here, this is, this is the bit you want to look out for. And you can see it in the goal. So the third goal, um, is an example of this vertical play and the, the intense running that uh, Jesse Marsh's teams, or this team particularly, put in. Now, here's the game. This is Dan James out wide left, right? He's pulled out to this, there are lots of rotations all the way through the game. Now, the ball, the, the most natural pass here, the most obvious one, is this vertical one, kind of diagonal across here to this player who's going to run in behind. But Jesse Marsh's teams want the ball to go forward. So when they're passing out from the back, it tends not to be a short pass. They tend to bypass the first man and get the ball into a player further up the pitch. So if you have um, Llorente or Cox or something like this here, it gets given the ball. The short pass is into someone like Christensen or maybe you'll try and move around and play a little short pass here into Adams. What Marsh wants to, his players to do is what I think he wants them to do. Is if Adams is here, he wants the ball to actually go into Aronson. So not this ball here to Adams, short easy ball. This takes you longer to get from back to front. This ball gets you straight in, and then you can turn and you've got runners going in behind so you can get take advantage of that. That's the thing, you'll always find these players, rather than making, even it's Christensen here on the ball, Christensen's got the ball here, rather than playing the short ball into James, you're gonna try and play the one that's further into Rodrigo over here. Always trying to be that vertical pass. And you can see this example from the goal, the attack's coming forward, the obvious pass is in here. Rather than go a diagonal, you put it in behind, into the space so they can get forward and get closer to the goal. And this is what they do. And James gets in behind on the left, he's right footed, so when he gets here, he can spot the, the chance is maybe going to be here, but Chelsea are quite good at getting back in time. He's not very trusty with his left foot, so he turns onto his right. And this is the bit where you see the kind of verticality come in from uh, Marsh's team. So James is going to cross it here, he's going to cross it into space, not towards a player. Because Rodrigo is the person who's going to get on the end of it. And he's going to attack this space here. These players are going to move and leave the space. He's going to attack it. That's what happens. He gets there first because he's not just standing, occupying a central striker's position. He's running into it. That verticality means you can attack space 
and uh, take advantage of spaces that then created. And then that ball goes across for the goal. Here we go. And that's them. Leeds 3-0 up. Chelsea completely done in. Uh, Tuchel, not a happy boy. I think he'll probably pay some money to some other teams to buy some players because there's things that aren't quite working with that Chelsea team and they could do with a few things. Maybe another centre-back. Maybe a striker who can get in behind or link better with build-up. There's a few things they can address. But that's what happens with Leeds. Really impressive performance. Jesse Marsh's principles of play shining through like a crazy diamond. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel and uh, for more diamond-related fun. Yes. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.